Now, we begin tonight with a much anticipated South Korea China summit today. President Park Geun-hye sat down for a one-on-one -on -one with the Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping earlier this morning on the sidelines of the G20 Leaders Summit. Our top office correspondent Song Ji-sun is traveling with the presidential press corps, and she joins us live from Hangzhou. Uh, Ji-sun, anticipation had been running high leading up to the bilateral summit today, with that, of course, being the buzzword. How did the summit play out? Kanye, all eyes and ears were at a Monday summit as it's the first time the two leaders meet since Seoul and Washington announced to deploy the U.S. missile defense system FAD in South Korea. Now, although there were no dramatic steps forward, the two leaders used this opportunity to share their stances on the issue. Park called for Beijing's cooperation, stressing that this is the last chance to curb North Korea's nuclear and missile threats, and that if it weren't for those threats, there would be no reason for that. Chinese President Xi Jinping vowed to implement the UN sanctions on Pyongyang and reaffirmed Beijing's stance on a nuclear-free Korean peninsula. Park said that being able to deter North Korea's reckless nuclear provocations will contribute to peace and stability, which is in the two countries' common interest. The two countries expressed concern and recognized the urgency and severity of North Korea's continued provocations. As for that, the two sides exchanged their basic stances and will follow up with further communication. Presidency, however, expressed opposition to the U.S. missile defense system being deployed to South Korea. According to China's state-run Xinhua News Agency, Presidency said, quote, Mishandling the issue is not conducive to strategic stability in the region and could intensify disputes. The two sides were on the same page in terms of developing bilateral relations, with next year marking 25 years of diplomatic ties. Bach said relations should be upgraded from recognizing their differences to trying to narrow that gap. <laughs> We must take an active role to encourage global and regional peace, and we must overcome difficulties and challenges for China-Korea relations to develop on the right path. Going forward, Seoul and Beijing agreed to reinforce strategic communication on multiple channels while involving Washington in a trilateral dialogue. Now, after having agreed to expand communication on North Korean issue with Russia and now with China, President Ma will continue her call at summits with the U.S. and Japan at her next summit of Laos for the ASEAN summit. Kwon Young. All right, ji -sun, our Song ji live from Hangzhou, the host city of this year's G20 Leaders Summit. Thank you.